Welcome to Deep Thought, Changing Your Reality. Now, this is a follow-up of the podcast I did yesterday about different vibrations. And I want to shout out a very powerful YouTuber, very powerful, very powerful man, very, very deep into uh, the metaphysics, and that's Warren Lance, the uh, legendary pimp god. You know, he inspired this video talking and because he had mentioned in a comment about, you know, how he changes his vibration when he's like about business. He has his vibration at a certain level and women don't really, you know, they don't pay any attention to him. But then when he, you know, when he wants to do what he wants to do, you know, he changes it and they come. I'm going to tell you what. That's a very powerful thing. Now, some astute observers had noticed. Uh, I don't do it as much lately, but I had noticed when I was uh, initially doing videos, I would have a different picture, different expressions, and some people might have picked up, uh, might have different colors, especially on my women's channel when I'm doing the live videos, um, I'll have like different color shirts, and sometimes I, I film the videos like, you know, three at one in one day. Like back to back, I just changed the shirt. But everything I'm doing, when I'm using different images and stuff, uh, that's because I'm broadcasting different things. Understand, every single person is broadcasting something. When they say like is attracting like, they're broadcasting something. Like uh, you get a situation where many women have complained about attracting dusty men or crazy men or something. And it was just like, that's what you're broadcasting. And that's a combination. See, a broadcast is going to be a com. It's a subconscious thing. But the best way to understand it is it's a combination of your facial expressions, um, your style, like how you wear your hair, uh, the clothing you wear, how you walk, you know, whether you walk in, in an open manner or defensive manner. It's a different broadcast. Let me use an example, right? And this is an example from my book, Sexual Chemistry, right? You have you have a woman, right, named April. That's the example. That's the name I used. April had a condition in her mind where she wanted a rich man. So when she walked among a group of men or was in a space where there were a bunch of men that she perceived as being rich, she would walk in a very seductive manner. She would walk in a slower manner. She would be friendlier, right? Now, someone would say that's just some game, but no, it's a broadcast. She's broadcasting an attractive energy in order to uh, draw a man to her. In fact, women know about this uh, subtly anyway, an astute woman anyway, because that's what women do. That's how they seduce. They draw the man to them. You know, they, they want to get the most attention, right? So, yeah, that's the broadcast she had for the rich men. But then when she was a, a, among some men who she perceived as being poor, her manner was more defensive. She wasn't smiling. She was walking faster. It was harder. It was a broadcast that said, don't come near me. Right. Now, I had explained in sexual chemistry, that's the wrong way to be because, you know, a rich man could be among the men she perceived as being poor. But you understand what I'm saying. If, uh, like, I've done, um, done a lot of public speaking. I've done a whole lot of public speaking, right? Now, one thing I do when I speak, I'm, engage I'm engaging an audience on a subliminal level, right? I remember one workshop I did, and it was all women. And I started talking, and then I noticed uh, more than a few of the women started swaying as they were listening to me. That's because of the energy I was broadcasting. Because one thing, whenever I know I'm doing something public, I will wear certain color clothes. Like a good energy, if you're a public speaker, actually wearing white is a very good energy to um, energize a crowd. Because it projects your aura a bit further. It's like a clothing is like a magnifier, right? Now, I remember another 
I now remember another seminar I did, and this was at a singles party. We had a little thing. I had on a red sweater and black jeans. All right. And those colors are very good for promoting a carnal atmosphere or a carnal energy. So this was a singles party. I wanted people to, um, you know, hook up. That was success to me if they hooked up at this party. So I went up there, you know, and projected that energy. But that energy, that broadcast is the same no matter where you go. All right. Like, I've, I've seen, like, you, you know me, I've worked a thousand jobs. I've worked retail. I used to work at a major department store, right? And I would see people come in for interviews. It was amazing how I would see grown men, they would come in just wearing whatever for the interview. And, you know, some people just wouldn't get a job. In fact, I saw one dude, he came in an interview with some shorts on. But think about what that broadcasted to the people. Oh, this dude ain't serious. Or, you know, he could be he could be a cut up. He might not be a good might not be a good fit, right? Now, at the same time, I remember one time a woman came in, she came in too dressed up. Right? But she was projecting confidence and everything. They didn't hire her because they were like, you know, this is the type who wouldn't stay here long. She got too much going on, right? But that's a broadcast. Everything you do is a broadcast. When you walk, you know, uh, when you walk down the street, when you walk in stores, when you walk in restaurants, how you look, how you look is broadcasting something. It's an energy. You can get a certain amount of service if you broadcast it, maybe a calm energy, a confident energy, an energy that look like you appreciate the service. That's going to do something because you know what it means. What they picking up on subliminally, even if they don't realize it, is like, oh, this person is real appreciative and he, he's saying thank you. I say that I get great service because I'm like, thank you, appreciate it. How's your day going? Everything. Real calm energy. But I give an energy like I'm a tip well, which I do. But I broadcast that before I even sit down. As soon as I sit down, they see me. I get like almost I get extraordinary service. <laughs> But I'm broadcasting something like, you know, I will reciprocate that extraordinary service. I'm purposely doing that when I come in, you know, whatever, whatever I'm doing. If um, like if I'm in a mood where just to use the example that Warren Lance used, if I'm in a mood where I don't feel like being bothered, that's what I broadcast like, leave me the fuck alone. I don't want to be bothered. But then if I'm in like a good mood eating just broadcasting the thing. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm feeling good. Anybody can approach me. I get that. I remember yesterday, um, you know, I'm recording this on a Wednesday, Tuesday. You know, I went out, had a, had a little small victory. So I had a little small victory lunch, right? So I'm in a very good mood. And I had just random strangers talking to me because I had to go. I was at this little uh, strip mall. had to get something. And... I just had random people just talking with me and everything, everybody. I was just like, wow. But that's what I was broadcasting. You know what? If you're having trouble in life, think about your broadcast. What are you presenting to the world? Look in the mirror. Seriously, just get in the mirror and look at it. And you're just like, hmm. You know, are you, per are you like broadcasting like a happy person? Or are you broadcasting somebody who's just scattered? You know? You know, I know some people, I know, I know some people, when you see them, all they're doing is wearing black or something. Nothing joyful. They look frumpy. And they wonder why people treat them the way they do. And I, I've told the person, I said, look, first of all, throw out all that black. It's like this particular person. It's like, oh, it's a woman I know. She's a good person, but it's, she, she be catching some hell. And it's like a very good person. She can't figure it out. I was like, well, it's what you broadcasting. It's that presentation. You know? It's that energy. So if you have, if you want to like change your reality or something, broadcast something different. Broadcast something different. And it's something you can control easily. It's just a matter of maybe just cleaning up, cleaning up your place you live, cleaning up yourself. You know, getting a different type of glasses. Which let me let me hit that real quick. That's something else I do too. 
You know, I got like a couple pair of glasses. Uh, one y'all see me on if anybody pays attention to my car videos, but I also got another pair, and they strictly for your intellectual, uh, intellectual look, right? But it's a broadcast, it's an energy. So that's how you change your reality, change your broadcast. Anyway, that's it for today. Keep rising and transforming. Peace.